Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric and Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle just came out out of left field. I remember speculation when this was still, you know, in the rumor mill. People didn't believe a crossover can happen like this. I mean, Nintendo's main franchise, Super Mario, crossing over with the weird minion-like Rabbids? It would never work. And needless to say, this game is fun. I've had a blast with it and it was probably one of the most creative things I've ever seen. And matter of fact, just looking at the cover, it looks like a mismatch of Rabbids with Mario with a little bit of Donkey Kong and Mega Man slash Metroid. It's unique gameplay, it's unique story, everything about it, the colorful charm about it just screams Nintendo, but it was actually made by Ubisoft. And it's actually a good Ubisoft game. Ubisoft can be hit or miss sometimes. There's been some pretty big stinkers, but Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, a freaking gem. So with that said, I thought, I got to thinking, what if Nintendo used some of its most famous and familiar franchises? I mean, you think about them, Pokemon, Mario, Zelda, Star Fox, F-Zero, they're all heavy hitters. Kirby, these are everywhere. What if they decided to go ahead and cross over with some other franchises out there? So today I'm going to share my top 8 Nintendo Dream crossovers that I would like to have happen. Thanks to Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. So right off the bat, not exactly a crossover, but something that I've been wanting to have since Amiibos came out. You got tons of Amiibos everywhere. Smash Brothers had all these sticking Amiibo, all the beloved Nintendo characters you could think of. Almost every franchise was represented. Fire Emblem, Star Fox, F-Zero, Zelda, Mario, Kirby, po uh, Pikmin, Pokemon, uh, fucking Earthbound. Almost every Nintendo franchise you could think of was represented in Super Smash Brothers. And Smash Brothers paved the way for the concept of Amiibos. Just like with Skylanders and Disney Infinity and even Lego Dimensions, I wanted a Nintendo Sandbox game. How cool would that be to have a actual crossover? Now I know Subspace Emissary was on Smash Brothers and it was kind of a crossover storyline, but I'm talking a real legit sandbox game where you put the amiibo on and you play as that character no matter what the level is, no matter what the stage is. The Nintendo All-Stars have to save the universe against some greater power. Fuck, throw the bad guys in there. Have Ganon and Bowser and all of them you know, plotting together. They could be like the Sinister Six and Mario and Link and Zelda and Peach and Toad and all the beloved characters have to work together in order to save the day. I think that would be pretty legit in my opinion. They have the, you know, franchises to do it. There's no reason why they haven't taken advantage of the Amiibo craze. I think Amiibos need to be a little bit more than just a save for some DLC or an unlock. They gotta be used for a game. There's already tons of them. It's one of the biggest money makers Nintendo has. Nintendo, come out with it already. Coming up next, two games that actually, I feel are a little bit underrated when it comes to the greater scope of Nintendo franchises. The first one actually has a pretty big cult following, Earthbound. Everybody wants to see Mother 3 localized. Everybody loves this game. It's highly sought after. The Super Nintendo cart goes for an arm and a leg and people can't get enough of it. They want Earthbound games made. North America, Japan, Australia, Canada, they all demand Earthbound. Nintendo fans are craving for an Earthbound game. And, and if they're not gonna get a brand new one, they can at least give the fans a crossover. And there's no better game out there for me to think that captures just as much charm as Earthbound than Pikmin. Pikmin had a, you know, cute little creature type of alien thing that I think would fit in right in the game of Earthbound. Pikmin are cute, they're kind of quirky and weird just like Earthbound was and Captain Olimar is a little Earthboundy if you think about it. I think it would be unique to have 
you know, Ness and Lucas and all the gang interact with the Pikmin. They crash land in the Earthbound universe and then they have to help them figure out their way back home. I mean, it writes itself. It's almost the same concept, you know, the whole alien thing and stuff. Maybe it could interact with the previous story or something. I think it would be pretty neat to see Earthbound and Pikmin kind of have a good little crossover going on. The, I mean, I'm, I'm, am I wrong? Next one, a little bit more of a pipe dream. A lot of people wish there would be a Zelda RPG out there. There hasn't been one. You know, a traditional Zelda game, and then the only thing that kind of got close to a spin-off was the Hyrule Warriors game that came out. Even then, that's not anything close to a full-fledged RPG game. The perfect crossover that I would like to see is a Final Fantasy Legend of Zelda game. I know this one's a little bit of a pipe dream, but hear me out. I think Final Fantasy is just as big of a world as, you know, any game out there. Tons of games out there, tons of, you know, mythic creatures, mythos, history behind it. There's a lot they could do in a Legend of Zelda game. Let's say a huge open world, steampunk, Final Fantasy type of Legend of Zelda type of game where you get a crew, you get a party, you adventure, everything with Zelda, but with a little bit of Final Fantasy thrown in there with chocobos and, you know, all those types of characters and stuff and throw in that Final Fantasy Square charm. I think it would work out pretty good. Could you imagine if Square Enix made a Legend of Zelda RPG game? They did pretty good with Super Mario RPG back in the day. I mean, the thought of it is just causing some goosebumps on top of my goosebumps already here. I love Legend of Zelda. Typically, I'm not a big fan of Zelda getting kind of messed with. I like the franchise that it is. I Soul Calibur Link, I let that slide. But I think if we were to make a full-fledged Final Fantasy Zelda RPG game, that it could definitely work. I know a lot of people want to do Fire Emblem Legend of Zelda, but I think Final Fantasy Legend of Zelda would actually do a lot better. Now, when it comes to fighting games, Nintendo is known for its Super Smash Brothers series. Now, it's not exactly a traditional fighting game. It doesn't play like Tekken. It doesn't play like Street Fighter. It doesn't play like Mortal Kombat. It's kind of its own flavor, but it's up there. I mean, Evo, other game fighting tournaments, versus Mode, they play Super Smash Brothers in those tournaments. It's a huge community, and Capcom also has its huge community. Uh, you know, just alone in Street Fighter or the Marvel versus uh, Capcom series and stuff. I think a Smash Brothers versus Capcom would be pretty cool. I mean, we already got Ryu in Super Smash Brothers. Why don't we get a little bit more of that going on? I know it wouldn't be realistic because Nintendo is a little bit cartoony and stuff, but it doesn't need to be a realistic game. It's a dream crossover game. I think it definitely could work out. I mean, could you imagine if the Nintendo characters were adapted to fight a little bit better. I mean, it would definitely have to be true to the Super Smash Brothers style, maybe adapt, reuse type of movement to the other characters. And you don't even need that many Street Fighter characters. You can throw in people from Mega Man, you can throw in characters from Resident Evil, which would be hilarious to see. Wesker, you know, shooting Mario in the head. Uh, other Capcom franchises, Final Fight, uh, you know, Captain Commando. Uh, Bionic Commando or what was it the Captain Cop Capcom guy from back in the day there's a lot of stuff they could do just with Super Smash Brothers and Capcom that is something that I definitely would like to see I think it would be pretty good and it needs to be a fighting game now this one I've actually seen a lot of people mention before and it's one that I would be okay with I'm not a real big fan of Metroid but it is one of the only Nintendo franchises that takes place in outer space besides Star Fox, which is my favorite Nintendo franchise besides the Legend of Zelda series. Both take place in outer space, went a little bit more dark and realistic, but I mean, if it's a Nintendo crossover, there's a possibility that they could warp into a different universe or whatever, and the Star Fox universe could go into the Metroid universe or whatever. I don't know exactly how it would work out because Star Fox isn't that dark, of a game and it doesn't play like a exploration you know metroid type of game but it would be cool to have a little bit of that you know our wing element to some space levels in metroid with some exploration maybe if you go from planet to planet in the metroid universe or maybe samus 
could, you know, fly her, you know, ship in the Star Fox universe. Either way, they're both in space. That's close enough for me to say, hey, maybe there could be a crossover thrown in there. Fuck it. Throw Captain Falcon from F-Zero in there while you're at it. F-Zero, Metroid, Star Fox. I mean, you could do something with those. Those franchises have enough fans as it is. And I don't think they would complain too much about a good crossover. It has to be good. It can't be like Metroid Prime Federation Force. Now, this one is actually me wanting a type of spinoff of The Legend of Zelda. I had one crossover earlier. There's one franchise that I really love when it comes to Nintendo, and that's Paper Mario. Now, in A Link Between Worlds, they kind of did a little bit of that 2D, I guess, flat you know, concept of going against walls. and It was almost Paper Mario-esque, in my opinion. I think a full-fledged Paper Zelda game would actually pretty be you know stupendous it doesn't have to have any of the mario characters in it i mean that would still work it'd be cool to see a paper mario game with link in it you know like a paper toon link but if they made a full-fledged paper zelda i think it would completely work out and keep it 2d uh, go back to the zelda 2 roots where it was a 2d side scrolling thing when you get to the dungeons and the towns and everything I think that could definitely work out and I think it would be an interesting concept to The Legend of Zelda. You know, you've had a couple of exper experimentations with Hyrule Warriors with, you know, Tinkle's fucking game and all that stuff. Why don't we try this, you know? Make some new stuff. Shape it up. It doesn't need to be Zelda canon. It would just be kind of cool to see a different take on a paper game. You know, we get all these fucking yarn games for Kirby and Yoshi and we get Paper Mario. Why don't we get some Paper Zelda? Now this one is really far-fetched because the franchise is already convoluted as it is, but it has a really strong following and I mean, these fans are pretty loyal to the brand. Kingdom Hearts, you know, a very cool concept. Square Enix characters mixed with Disney characters. And when you think of mascots, as far as companies go, there's two characters out there that are pretty much world renowned. Mickey Mouse and Super Mario. Do you get where I'm going here? Mario, Mickey Mouse, a Nintendo Kingdom Hearts crossover. Make a Kingdom Hearts game with Nintendo characters. I know this one is probably the most unlikely game out of all of my requests to be made, but that is money waiting right there. Those are two of the biggest characters in the history of the world and two of the biggest companies. And they've had the most influence on a lot of kids, especially in the 90s. Why, why hadn't this even been a concept? And last but not least, they've had a couple of crossover games with these two already, but they're sport games, Olympic games. Nobody wants that. Let's make a real Sonic and Mario crossover for finally fuck's sakes. I mean, we finally got Sonic Mania out on all consoles, all platforms. Returns to retro-style 2D platforming that people loved in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. And Mario has always been kicking it, like Jackie Chan. He's always been up top. These two are two of the biggest gaming mascots of all time. They have the Olympic Game Series. But where is the actual real Sonic and Mario crossover game? Mario and Rabbids... Mario and Rabbids have an actual crossover game before Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario did. If, if it, Mario Sonic was to ever be made, my seven-year-old self would have shat his pants and went nuts. That alone could possibly be the biggest dream crossover of all time, and it needs to happen. Sega and Nintendo, you guys need to like get in a room and make a badass Nintendo, Sonic, Sega, Mega, Mario remix 2d platforming game all right i know both sonic and mario play completely different but you guys can do this you got fucking miyamoto on your side he could he could come up with something do it all right guys so that was my top eight if you have any ideas or any suggestions for any crossovers that you would like to see feel free to comment below thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks i'll see you guys next time peace out